and I call Mr Hannan. Thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker. The right of every citizen to deal with Brussels institutions in his own language is one of the few remaining signs that this is an association of nations rather than a single polity. I have very little patience with the argument which one hears very often, even in my constituency, that why doesn't the uh, EU as a whole, or at least the European Parliament, adopt just English or just English and French or just English, French and German, uh, remove the requirement of the EU to produce everything in every national language and you simultaneously remove the biggest obstacle to a superstate. That said, we are adopting, if not in the literal sense, something of a common language in the way in which we debate these matters uh, uh, in this chamber. The phrases we use, which one never hears anywhere except here, respecting the principles of subsidiarity and proportionality, bringing Europe closer to the people, the answer is more Europe, not less Europe, the people are demanding that we do more. These are phrases that you only ever hear from Eurocrats and MEPs. It's difficult not to think of the appendix to George Orwell's 1984, where he talks about duck speak, the engagement of the larynx without the engagement of the higher brain centers at all. When you talk in cliché, you're almost certainly thinking in cliché, and that's why we're in the mess we're in.